one of the fathers of the tech revolution, Bill Gates. He's got a new blog post out, and he is outlining some of the biggest concerns he has now about how AI can change our lives. NBC's Jacob Ward covers tech for us. Jake, we've been on this topic a lot. We haven't heard from Bill Gates in depth, but he outlines five areas that he's very concerned about. So tell us about those. Yeah, it's very interesting to hear the, the Microsoft uh, founder, you know, talk here about this five-part list. I mean, he describes everything from uh, the fear of misinformation, mm -hmm. that it could supercharge the ability of, of people to misinform the public, especially on the eve of 2024. Mm -hmm. It could take our jobs. He talks about the inherent bias that mm -hmm. researchers have shown is inside certain forms of AI, the ability to supercharge uh, the work of hackers and cyber attackers. And then, you know, the worry we all have for our kids, you know, we've talked about this in the yes. past, right? Can your student child yeah. wind up relying on ChatGPT or something like it and end up learning nothing. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about the blog post, though, is that he lays it out as a set of warnings but in almost every case, he basically says, don't worry about it. Worry about we it. can oh. figure it out. And more or less, he says, we, we essentially have already solved a bunch of these problems. I have to say, since the blog post came out, I've been talking to experts about this. That is not what they have to yeah. say about it, right? I mean, mm. let's talk about jobs, for instance, right? This yeah. idea that jobs could do it. He says in the blog post, he argues, productivity has been great for everyone. We've always seen that when new technology comes along, it creates new jobs. Now, that's been true for a long time historically. But in the last 20 years in the U.S. And, and European Union, your individual household income has not gone up with GDP. Money's getting focused at the top. So this is something that uh, I think a lot of experts are saying, mm, maybe it's yeah. not as nice as he says. I mean, you've been in this space long before most of us were even talking about AI. And I've said to other folks before, your book, The Loop, it's a great primer for people who are interested in learning more. In your opinion, as yeah. someone who's covered this for a while, yeah. Is Bill Gates even the guy that we should be listening to when it comes to AI and, and solutions? Craig, that is such a good question. I mean, one of the things that is happening right now a lot is we're seeing that the people who made money early on technology are trying to sort of position themselves as independent academic style thinkers on this stuff. Mm -hmm. And Bill Gates is the latest. But I think it's important to recognize this is not an independent voice. He is not an academic. This is a person who is investing a tremendous amount of money personally into the space. He put a lot of money into a company called Inflection AI recently, which he is touting as the personal assistant of wow. the future. It could wipe out Amazon and Google, he says. So again, until people who are not making money off AI tell us not to worry about it, I'm still going to worry about it. All right. Listen, Jake, yeah. uh, thank you so much. Happy to see you here. Appreciate it. it. Enjoy your perspective. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.